In my educational sessions where I talk about the using market structure and price action in uh, market time and intelligence, I talk a lot about understanding market structure and price action and how they relate to each other and how they are reoccurring cycles in the market that recur over and over and over again. But also, I do stress the importance of waiting for the proper setup, the proper structure, because the markets will run through a cycle and run through a transition period, then start a new cycle. And the importance is to be able to identify when that cycle is beginning and then follow it through. Well, on this uh, E-mini S&P example here, I have a, I should say, a great example of what I'm talking about. First of all, let's just kind of go over in timing action. I'm going to talk about this first pattern, and this is a major pattern right here, what I call my trend TC pattern, trend continuation pattern that occurs in the center of a longer term cycle. If you notice that we have this little pattern, this little pattern here, but this one's completely different. There's certain criteria met, which means it is the center of the cycle. And this is how it can be used. I'm just, let's just say this is where the market is. We've just identified this pattern. And let me just show you this. I think you'll find it very interesting. So you see what I've done is action reaction. I look at the past action to make future projections of the reaction of the market. Well, I'm starting to this high and measuring back to this low. And that just gives me that time distance. And then what I do is I just go forward, see how I market it on this low, and then let's see what happens to the market. The key is to be able to identify the correct pattern and know where to measure the action and the reaction part. But look how precise that is. Okay, that's on the longer term. Let's just do, uh, I'm going to take a little bit further so there's more. You see the beginning of the cycle down here, this I have it marked ABCD, that's what I call the TR pattern, trend reversal, transition, that's when the market's going into a transition. But it's how you use that pattern that really helps. So what I'm going to do, you see what I'm doing is I'm measuring. I'm just measuring the time distance from the high of what we call the C. This is the end of the TC, uh, TR pattern before the market goes through the transition. And we're measuring back to the beginning. Well, let's just see what happens when we go. And we start right here. We go here and see how we go from this low marks a low. This little uh, reaction swing and before a new one. Well, let's just continue that up. We go to that low and it comes and it falls right in the center of this pattern. So there is your balancing point. That is where the action segment ends and the reaction begins. But let's just continue to carry that forward. So now there's a transition. Now we're shifted here. You can see shifted. It's making from the low gives you a high. Let's just continue on that. From this low gives you that right to the exact high. So now you have, remember the action here, reaction gave you this exact high. And then I've taken you the steps where the small swing patterns have also produced this exact high. Okay, now that is your timing. Let's go and we'll look at price. Let's do the kind of the same methodology. What I'm going to look at is we came off of this bottom. There's the TR pattern and here is the first thrust higher from that bottom. And I'm just going to measure that price. Look at that price action for that thrust here. Now I'm just going to grab that same distance, put it right at the very top of that and see where that takes you. Takes you right up to this high before this market makes this correction. But I'm going to continue it. Just take that same distance, mark it right there. Takes you right up to that high. Look how it all falls together, reoccurring cycles, price action, market structure, they're all combined, they're very important. And then you'll see right here, I have a mark A, B, C, D. The cycle is starting all over again to the downside. So what I'll do is I'll just do the same thing and repeat it to the downside. So if you want to learn more about how to do this, how I use market structure and price action, what I call market time and intelligence, just give us a call here at my office, and uh, the number here will be right at the end of the video. So thank you for joining me. Hoping I've shown you something that you'll find a little interesting. 
Good luck and good trading. Thank you.